It's the third and evil issue in the G.I. Joe Order of Battle miniseries from Marvel Comics published in 1987. The official G.I. Joe handbook containing all of the Cobra soldiers. Like the Baroness Cobra Commander Serpentor and Destro. Starting with everyone's second favorite Cobra soldier behind Storm Shadow, of course, it's the Baroness, who looks great in that cat suit, except you know she's totally psycho. Like, she would be way more trouble to deal with than she's worth. Destro must be a very patient man. Let's move on to another one of my favorites, the Cobra Bat, the Battle Android Trooper. I had one of them, and they were awesome. They still are. I've got a real one standing behind me, guarding the studio door. If anyone walks in, it'll probably short-circuit and explode. Cobra was not known for building things that worked. Like uh, Serpentor, for example. More on him later. The Cobra soldiers were always pretty cool. Who used to pull turtlenecks up over their mouth and nose and pretend they were Cobra? This guy. Like, last week. The Crimson Guard! Loved them. Just as incompetent as the usual Cobras, except they got paid more. While I'll recommend that you buy all four issues of the G.I. Joe Order of Battle comic book series, issue three is the second best. O only behind issue four, which you'll see in the next review. It's got the vehicles. Cobra was just cooler than G.I. Joe, even if they were amazingly incompetent. Thanks in part to this guy, Cobra Commander, who was basically the star scream of Cobra. In fact, I think they were even voiced by the same actor. Moving on, like the other issues in this series, you get biographical information on each of the Cobras, which is a lot of fun to read if you remember the comic books or the TV show and you're still a big fan of G.I. Joe and Cobra as well as some good-looking, well-drawn images. Here's Serpentor, who was genetically engineered from the most evil people in history and made a super cool action figure. Yet still, he couldn't defeat Joes like Shipwreck. There's Storm Shadow, one of the coolest figures in the entire G.I. Joe series, as well as the Strato Viper, who came with the awesome SR-71-inspired Cobra Jet. How did they fund Cobra? My theory is they invented the internet and then squandered their earnings on useless things like Battle Android Troopers, the Terror Dome, and Zartan's Coke Addiction. At least the Dreadnoughts were man enough to use some real weapons like a flamethrower and chainsaw, although I don't recall them ever actually lighting any Joes on fire or cutting them in half. So once again, incompetent. The only Cobra soldier worth anything was Storm Shadow. And I think he was held back by the rest of them. Here's my favorite part of this issue, the retraction. Rocky Balboa was not a member of G.I. Joe in issue number two. But ALF most definitely is. 